Okay, do begin recording. All righty. So yes, we're ready to get started. So welcome everybody to BCon 2022 Part Two. If we advance the slide, just bear with us. There we go. So again, yes, I hope you joined us yesterday. We had a great number of talks from literally around the world. Yesterday was kind of our virtual day where we had presenters from everywhere from Australia to uh, Kenya and Pakistan, and the UK, as well as Canada and the US and other parts in between. Today, we're focusing on the in-person presentations for those of us more local to Southern Ontario, but we still have a global audience. So whether you're joining us in person or joining us online, welcome and feel free to contribute throughout the day with questions and comments um, as we go forwards. I do want to start off with, a, with an Indigenous land acknowledgement. So we recognize that many Indigenous nations have long-standing relationships with the territories upon which York University campuses are located that precede the establishment of York University. York University acknowledges its presence on the traditional territory of many Indigenous nations. The area known as Tikaranto has been caretaken by the Anishinaabek Nation, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, the Huron-Wendat, and the Métis. It is now home to many Indigenous peoples. We acknowledge the current treaty holders, the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation, and recognize that this territory is subject to the Dish with One Spoon Covenant and our agreement to peacefully share and care for the Great Lakes region. And I encourage you, if you're not in Southern Ontario, or even if you are, to check out native land, native-land.ca, which is now a global global website that indicates, uh, many of you go this way for the cameras, uh, that indicates the, who the Indigenous peoples are in your landscape that you currently live in, work in, or play in. Then I can't reach the microphone that or the advancing thing. Um, in the interest of time, I'll skip some of these slides. Um, but I encourage you to read the program about what BC is, um, why we came about and what we're about and how you can get involved, including things like cool webinar series, our YouTube channel and our social media channels. And again, lots of cool things, ways to get involved, lots of listservs as well you can get involved with, or also collaborate with us on projects. We can help with things like grant applications stuff as well, particularly for people um, here in Southern Ontario. BCon is awesome. We've been around for over a decade now. Um, starting off small and now getting big. Um, if you're here yesterday, went over some of the logistics for the day, um, including for those who are attending virtually, you'll need to see on the very bottom of your screen is a little Q&A box, which you need to enable. After this, I'll enable it for you. So you can post in the chat box. I'm oh, sorry, the Q&A box, you can post your questions in. And the chat box, once I enable it, you'll be able to post in the chat box um, as well. If you're in person, uh, raise your hand, the moderator will call on you. Because of the uh, acoustics in the room, please speak loudly so that the presenter can hear you. And then the presenter can then repeat the question back again. Same thing for any questions that come in virtually, the moderator will read to the speaker. And depending on how close you are to the speaker, you'll probably, the speaker will need to repeat the question as well. So, because even if we may be here in the room, in order for people to hear it online, we need to repeat the question through the microphone. Um, all the presentations are being recorded, but not all are being shared. So check out the program and see which ones are being recorded. And hopefully about the next two weeks or so, we'll have it up online. Um, we encourage you to get involved on social media, share your, you know, your best outtakes from the day. Um, but please respect the presenter's wishes. Not all presenters want their information shared, particularly some results slides. So some will say that verbally, some will have little images on their slides saying, please do not share. Please respect that. Uh, for in-person attendees, a reminder, masks are mandatory for this event. So unless you're actively eating out in the foyer, please remain masked. Um, it should be a nice big day outside, so we can go outside at breaks to get some fresh air as well. I see a few people with food in here, but in theory, not supposed to have any food um, in the lecture halls. As a heads up, we're doing a group photo just before lunch, so no disappearing before lunch. We do want to have group photo for those who are in in-person attendance. And we sort of promised a social time. We're kind of combining that with the lunch hour. So you can sort of stay as long as you want for a couple hours after the last talk to kind of a chance to socialize as well as enjoy lunch. A huge thank you to all our funders as well as our big, big thank you to our volunteers. We have volunteers moderating talks, helping with registration, helping with food, helping behind the scenes. So big thank you to all of you. I couldn't do it without you. Um, so big thanks to everyone. And also big thanks to our funders, Faculty of Science, Environmental and Urban Change, as well as the Office of the Vice President of Research and Innovation. Now on to the presentations. 
So we're going to turn things over immediately to Anthony. Um, and, and Nadia is our going to be our moderator. So a reminder to speakers that Nadia, whoever the moderator is, will have three signs. Uh, the green ones are doing good. Yellow is at the 12 minute mark. Start wrapping things up. The, uh, the red is when you stop talking to one minute or less left. I'll probably get the red one. Maybe. 